Apart from the beautiful beaches of Pembroke and its wonderful coastline, there's lots more to see. So let's explore. Old houses. Churches. Some dating back to the 17th century or even earlier. And picturesque towns and villages. Haverford West is the attractive and ancient county town of Pembroke. Haverford West has been established for almost 1,000 years. In Elizabethan times, Haverford West was the second largest port in Wales and remained the main port in West Wales until the coming of the railway in 1853. Another favourite of mine is Narbuth, a little market town in east of Pembrokeshire. Multicoloured Edwardian and Georgian buildings line the high street, which has developed quite a reputation as a shopper's heaven. Another favourite of mine is the little harbour town of Solva. Next we come to St David's. It's quaint streets decorated with bunting and cafes, boutiques and galleries. It's actually the UK's smallest city. with its famous cathedral, which dates back to the 6th century and was founded by St. David himself, the patron saint of Wales. The port of Milford Haven is the UK's largest energy port and the biggest port in Wales. Next, we come to Fishguard. The film Moby Dick, starring Gregory Peck, was filmed here in 1955. Finally, we come to Pembroke Town. Home to many artefacts and ancient buildings, Pembroke is a perfect place for those who love to explore the depths of the United Kingdom's history. Pembroke Castle is most famous for being the birthplace of Henry VII, the founder of the Tudor dynasty and Britain's only Welsh king. Henry VII was King of England between 1485 and 1509. Well, th thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the short tour of Pembroke. Bye! And don't forget to visit my website, link in the description below.